Okay, so here's my junior Bertha. This was salvaged from a big Bertha that had a bad engine that crashed and broke the top off. So I cut it down, made a junior Bertha, a little bit larger than a baby Bertha. I'm gonna put one of those modified D16s in this. So let's see what happens. Skies are clear, the range is clear, the launch, launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. They had a strange pop, but we got a good flight. Let's see what happened, yeah, let's see how the mass will help out. It's going to fly into the sun here. There it is. Good flight, good flight. Again, this had the modified nozzle I used the sea eagle to keep it from blowing out. So they got a pop. I don't know if it was an ignition issue or just the way that uh, it starts up. Let's find out. Let me go get the rocket. <laughs> How do you like that? Right next to us. That had a four inch wide streamer on it, by the way. Four inch wide, really nice. Okay, here it is. Look at that nice long streamer. And uh, let's check this out and see what happened. Again, a four inch wide, about 20 foot streamer. So here's the rocket. And if you look at this, this one did have some of the glue on it. We can see that the nozzle still did chip a little bit, um, but not as much as it did before. So this might be a good solution for these rockets. And I removed the tape and, and actually it looks like this rocket um, did not have any problems at all. If you look at that, that chipping was probably the original and um, the glue of course held it together. So yeah, it looks like that little chuff we heard was probably part of the ignition sequence which might be characteristics for this rocket uh, for this rocket engine and it looks like this uh, d16-4 is now a successful engine a little wipe with ca glue and the nozzle looks okay <laughs>